Nice scene. Gotta reward yourself when you do good. All right, Bolero again, opting for the young link that took out Gatsby. It might be a stage thing, or it might just be a pumper thing, since that's the last character he played. But probably, probably a stage thing. Ooh. This is the turnaround, though. Hmm. This is going to be big damage for Young Link. Getting Donkey Kong in the air, you're going to get a lot of that. Jungle games, but he also gets to juggle really easily. Unless, you know, you really got the DK tech down with the reverse down. Use. Landing with the neutral air. Other than that, though, there's not a lot of options he has to not plant. To mix up his landings. Oh, I'm surprised. If that uh, rates. Oh, okay. If that goes. <laughs> that air dodge is gonna. Could it be it for him? That was insane. He almost died at like 70 to that upbeat. That was insane. You see this matchup and you think, okay, this is Young Leagues. Like, double you free. He's got all these projectiles and he can PK out. But, look, like, when you. That's an unfortunate SD. As I was saying, when you see. Uh, when you see. It, Buffalo taking stocks from Young Link at like 70, sub 70, early percents. Like, you realize this matchup isn't terrible. Terrible. <laughs> Maybe not terrible. I want to decay your worse, but doable. Especially with a capable hand from someone like Buffalo. Alright, what's. <laughs> Definitely plus two for Young Link. Definitely one of his worst, but you know, not completely undoable. Young Link pick the ball. Yeah. Ooh, the neck. Catching that jump. But Buffalo with the immaculate jack down in. Oh. SD for SD. It's just unfortunate that SD was Blair's last stock. Right, do you even play Donkey Kong, Ryan? <laughs> I really do. Koman, all right. We don't count Komans. I don't have to complain about Donkey Kong's bad matchups when you play Palu. <laughs> what are you doing? Ugh. All right, well, great game one. Well, actually, that no, was pretty sad. It was a sad game once, considering all the SDs. But as we go further on in this set, I'm hoping to see a lot less SDs. This is my dream. Oh, wait, hold on. I just picked something up. Ryan just said Palu is Donkey Kong's worst matchup. Ooh, I can't, I can't agree with that. Can't agree with that whatsoever. But uh, that's not what this commentary is about. It's about Young Link versus Donkey I mean, Zelda versus Donkey Kong. Save this debate for another stream. Uh, hmm. Three, two, one, go! Okay, Bolero's just gotta be trying to play mind games with Buffalo right now, because it's the same stage. He took it. Pretty convincing. He almost had it pretty convincingly with the young one. The only reason he really lost that is because of the SD of Zero. Not sure why he would go to Ooh. Ooh. An unfortunate spike for Buffalo. Really great pickup for Bolero, though. Buffalo really went after that. You forgot me. Ladies and gentlemen, Ryan forgot me. Again. Right. Off the. Right, right, right. I can't have this debate with you. Palu, Palu Donkey Kong is free for Donkey Kong. Change my mind. Don't change my mind now, though. I'm just commentating. All right. 
We're gonna be losing stock really early. This is pretty heavily in Valera's favor, but this is the best DK in the world we are dealing with. Ooh, yuppie! Beautiful, he saw that landing. Takes it out. Not gonna be dead just yet. Didn't have an oh, he didn't have an air dodge yet to do that early. That was an immaculate recovery. <laughs> I feel like he really should have got punished for that. Like the way he just like swerved around all of Polaris' options was really impressive. Like he didn't have an air dodge. The second side B was coming out. That was it for him. Okay. Polaris is kind of overwhelming him with shenanigans. That was far from killing uh, Buffalo. Like, he would not have DI'd that way. Just. I couldn't tell which way he was going to be. Well, now that we're waiting. <clears throat> Uh, DK and pa DK Palu is actually close to even, if not in DK's favor, just because of how easily uh, DK can juggle Palu in the air. Also has a really easy time just guarding Palu. Uh -oh. Donkey Kong's just like having ledge in Palu's off stage. If you drop down, if he drops down and hits him with Nair, Palu is just lose out of it. This is a uh, opinion. I will never uh, leave. Alright, let me see. Ah, oh, he still has Polly bad? Alright, well, listen. Oh, no. Alright, well, back to the match. Flaro. Flaro sticking with his. Uh, sticking with the pick that got him the win the first set they played. Him to FD, limiting his movement options. But Valero is like. Valero has gone to a completely different state from that first game. I think it's a mixture of just him having momentum from that from those other games. The. Polo just being a little rusty from not having played. In two seconds. Rusty's a bad word. Ooh, that should have been it. It's so close. Gray roll from Bolero. Are you dead? No. Bolero is an absolutely different demon, but so is Buffalo. Not really, though. That was still in a very big deficit, but that downer. Downer after upbeat is one of my favorite things DK has. Alright. Let's Pick both bad options. He was getting hit by night and up smash. Okay. This is big for Buffalo. He's getting this momentum back. Kill him. Yes, I love that. I, we love down B up smash. This stream, we love down B up smash. No matter what character it is. Even though it's like only ever going to be Donkey Kong. Oh, that air dodge is questionable. Claro, I'm gonna be taking it. I'm in sick lead for it. Sick damage. I'm speaking out of my mouth right now. Very poor. That whole up tilt is giving a lot of. It's doing really good for Buffalo. Because of how it disrupts the night. It's such a fast option. Valero doesn't really have time to react to it. Ooh! Ooh, he's alive! Air dodge there, it has to. But Valero's gonna catch him high. He's that stock. This is not looking good for Buffalo, even though he's the winner's side of this. 
Because a lot of times it's just getting too stupid. Claire is going to really have to put the work in if he wants to take this tournament. I disagree with C completely. One of the best Donkey Kongs. I disagree with. Alu. Easy for DK. I'm professional. Oh. Okay. Game four. Game four of what I'm predicting is going to be a ten game set. Okay, that was... Oh, ho, 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 ho. okay, that was really good. Air dodge from me. Just because if it sent him up, he would have teched it. You know. And then he just get back to ledge free. Okay. Alero is showing some real patience in this game. Kind of sitting back, letting Donkey Kong throw out his things through dead. Oh! Just barely missed timing that. Looking for the back air. Would have done it. So the forward smash is going to take it. Again. I see Buffalo going through that dark a lot. And you know, I'm not in grand finals, but I feel like against Zelda it's just your risky go for. Okay, so I'm trying to ledge trap. And maintaining stage control. Just for Donkey Kong, that's such a strong thing. He wants this up here. That up, he didn't kill. Okay. Thought he was looking for a grab, even then spot dodges. Anything really would have killed there. Look at the Buffalo was in a good spot. Stop! Polaro, stop! Okay, why? Oh, that's smart. I tried to get him air dodging. Oh! If that killed. I feel like if Buffalo went for like any other type of spike in that scenario, it would kill. Although, it's pretty good for positioning. Oh no, Bolero. That's what you get. I'm not happy, really, that happened. Because I do like watching Bolero Zelda. But you kind of deserve a. You know? Again, it's my favorite Zelda to watch Polaro. My favorite Zelda versus Donkey Kong. It, that's close. You know, that's a close race. Ooh, I thought he was gonna get the ledge cancel there instead! Buffalo getting floored out of up smash. That's meaty damage. Stop from Buffalo. Okay, keep ledge, keep ledge canceling, Blair. Let's see where it goes. Ooh, a B, not gonna be it. Bolero's gonna be able to take Donkey Kong off stage for this, set up some ledge traps, but Donkey Kong just busts through with that nerve. Okay, then I'm, we're good. I thought that was it. Luckily, he didn't get the strong hit. Donkey Kong lives to see another day. And we will, mark my words, see game 10. Oh, they're taking advantage of it. Oh, ho, 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 you did. All right. I, did I say game 10? I meant game I meant game 9. That's what I said. I said game 9. Mark my words. Go on to game 9. I've always said that, and I've never taken back my words. Ooh, okay. That game looking a lot closer than the other games uh, Bubble was playing. I think as the set goes on, I think Valero has to end this quick because as the set goes on, Bubble is going to be adapting. But he's going to have a much better chance of winning this matchup. Mm -hmm. I want to look at what else C has on here. Hmm. Has Donkey Kong winning the Bowser Jr. matchup? 
It's a little weird, but okay. Interesting. I feel like Bowser Jr. maybe beats Donkey Kong, if anything. I don't know if C's mashup chart is the best thing to cite, to be honest with you. Um, okay, I don't think DK only slightly loses to T. I do think all the Bowser does beat. This is just me commentating, commentating over someone who is not in the tournament's matchup chart. Me. But I can't. It's like it's addictive. It's so interesting to see what he thinks. No. SS does beat a lot of heavy. I gotta stop. I gotta stop and I gotta watch the match. Okay, Bolero. Counterpicking to Red Youngling. This is not a character we have seen him play yet. Only blue. So I'm just, I'm interested to see how the red is gonna fare for him in this match. Alright, he tries to come down with the neutral air. Instead, Bolero catching a lot of uh, a lot of the options Buffalo wants to go for. It. This first stop. Okay. The Luffalo. The Luffalo finding his footing. Right there. Don't put that. Forward throw might have been better in that scenario. Although down was kind of cool. Oh, you're dead. That is not a safe grab. Hello, Valero. The Buffalo is seen through it. The up -E, classic. Where will you win? All right. Down for all there. Gonna contest the boomerang. Come on, stage. Ooh, you're dead. That was so good for Bolero, holding the bomb to not die after the up -E. We see him moving. Good pick up from DK. I know he was mashing that up there. That wasn't a reaction. Alright, forward air up. Up the up air. I mean, how can I kill this yet? Blair has gotta stop getting hit by that. Oh I think you're fine. Oh. Up tilt, going for the shield. Blair is not going to touch that shield. Not going to find a conversion off the bump. Oh, it doesn't spike with the down air. I don't, I'm not sure if that does spike. I think maybe just like the first couple of frames. Of it. Okay. A major way here. Not going to go for that down air. Stez tries to catch some panic recovery with the forward smash. Oh, just because Bolero had to wait so long. Since it's like... Ooh! He has the air dodge. Oh, okay. I have to go for the up air after that. Landing whatever he got. It's boss Buffalo. Because that... Bolero... I'm not Bolero Buffalo. Bolero's kind of just throwing out the uh, arrows there. Buffalo really had to respect them. Because of how strong they are. Wah!
I don't really have anything to say anymore, you know. It's been a long night. Long night. If Valero ends up winning this, props. I would not have been able to last this long. Not able to last this long, I'm not even playing, I'm commentating. Hungry for that full air. Oh, okay, if he got the spike there, that would have been sick. That would have been too cheesy. Oh, chill blow. Two nice piece of one combos. Oh. It's fair. I feel like I don't see DKs go for that lot. But. You know, Buffalo is just making it work for him. What are you doing, Bolero? Okay, Buffalo's bad. Okay, Buffalo's not back. Buffalo has left the building. SD wasn't that was he not enough to Okay, what what Bolero? It's really easy for me to judge from where I am right now. So. Good turn around up three from Blair. I feel like there's better moves that Buffalo could try and go in other than forward air. I feel like Dunby does the same thing forward air does and it's safer. Oh, chill. That looking for his back air. Looking for down air, actually. Oh. Lock. It, oh, never mind. He didn't go for it. He went for the down air instead because he's a madman. He didn't even need to go for it. He's just greedy. Listen here, stream watchers. When I say this game, when I say this match is going to game nine, I mean it. And you're never going to hear me take that back. These two champions are so equal in skill. It's insane to watch. You're just going at it. You're just throwing stuff against the wall and it's hitting. The classic Zelda. Three, two, one, go! Looking for their bread and butter combo startups. I'm right, not going to get dash attack, dash attack. Okay. Ah. You know, I don't play Donkey Kong that much, but I feel like there's got to be something better Buffalo can go for other than really after that hashtag. It might be an online thing where he's trying to get back here or some other type of move. Hello. Ooh, I beat that up so much. It's so good. I see Donkey Kong. Every time I see them becomes upbeat, I'm expecting them to like, instantly go for a downer after they've been bullish. Oh! Buffalo! Oh! These early stocks are insane. This is really like what is putting one up. Oh! Missed the ledge cancel. If, I feel like. If he didn't miss that ledge cancel, Buffalo's going to be fat. That would be... 
All right, go for the flare. I know you want it. You're not slick. Even though you are, like, the slickest, you're not slick. Oh, jeez. He is looking for something. Clap. Clap. This is a totally different buffalo that we are seeing from the first few games. What? Okay, what? You definitely didn't want to jump there. He is getting really, he's getting really predictable and greedy. I feel like he's just gonna jump. Oh, you fool. Ooh, but it's not gonna matter. Buffalo takes it anyway. Anytime Donkey Kong gets off the ledge with that type of cargo throw, I'm worried that when people mash out of it, they're gonna get that free flip stool in that free stock. That's like my number one fear always whenever I see Donkey Kong. Go for that. That's why I much prefer like personally to go for jumping off of the ledge and then doing one of the throws, either forward throw or down throw, cargo throw. Just because there's less chance of you getting cheesed out of that stock with a footstool. We are going into game three, which I guess technically makes it game Seven. Still got two more games to be played until my prophecy comes true. Uh, okay. Still shit, you guys. Yeah, Buffalo is up too. Okay, so Bolero's got to. Bolero is going to win this one because I prophesized it. So don't even like. Sorry for taking all the suspense out of you guys. Back at it, prophesizing. Oh, chill. Chill with this, at least. Blur, you have to chill. I, I love how that just barely went. And that was enough to get rid of the knight. Side so Oh, uh, up there. Up beak. These up aren't putting, putting as much work in as they have in the past. Oh, jeez. That combo is sick. Beautiful. Throw the neutral air. Not to look for anything after it. Crab. Damage. Take some damage. That's a lot of it. That's a lot of it. Damage. Up there. Up there. Forward air. Get high recovery coming out from Bolero. Oh, 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 okay, I see you, Mr. Ledge Cancel. Punish that. Oh, you can ledge cancel, but you can't punish that up. Oh. Funny, funny how the world works, isn't it? Bolero's been getting hit by that every, that upbeat every time he goes through this phantom. Upbeat. Bolero is not out of it yet. We've seen what happens when people get comfortable with the lead with Bolero. Oh no, it's a regret. Taking it to game eight. Uh, yeah. That SD was really unfortunate from Bolero. Good showing from both players overall. Congratulations to Buffalo for taking his first Encore Wi Fi W overall. Congratulations to Bolero for second. Great tournament. Uh, shout outs to Encore for keeping it real during this thing we're all living through. Uh, that's, uh, that's it. Good night, folks. I have been your, uh, not host, I have been the guy who talks while you try to watch. Thanks for coming. I'm Strudel. See you.